Welcome to part two of this video in which we are finding shear and moment diagrams for distributed forces on a beam. In part one, we found the weight density on the beam and uh, it turned out to be this, this red guy. And from that, we computed using integrals the shear force uh, uh, function, uh, which is this. Uh, it turned out to be uh, this sort of uh, triangular shaped sort of thing. And we verified that um, the slope of V was equal to W. So there is then a relationship that this V is the integral of W or the uh, W is the uh, derivative of V, actually the negative derivative of V. So what we'd like to do now is take the V that we've computed and use that to find the moment plot. And so um, let's do that. So I'll use this smaller plot here just to keep track of where we are. Um, so between, if we start off with x between 0 and 2, Then our m of x is going to be the integral from 0 to x, so 0 to some point here that I've called x, of v x prime d x prime. So basically I need to find the area under this triangular section. And again, those of you that are handy with geometry can probably do it. I'm going to work the integral just to make sure it's clear what we need to do to make this work in more complex situations. So we have the integral from 0 to x, and between 0 and 2 meters, v of x, as you'll recall from the previous video, was 1,000 newtons per meter times x prime dx prime. Okay, so actually I should say this is x prime, this is v of x prime. Okay, so I can work this integral, and um, the 1,000 newtons per meter is a constant, so I have the integral from 0 to x of x prime dx prime, which gives me an x squared term, or x prime squared term, which I then plug in 0 and x for. When I'm all done, I get um, that this is a thousand newtons per meter x squared over two. Okay, the zero over here goes away. So this basically gives me the um, the moment uh, or diagram or moment function between zero and two. So now we need to look at between when x is between 2 and 8. So this is 2, this is 8. If x is between these two values, then um, I need to get basically this area. And again, I can get it by integration. So I have m of x. Let's see, this is 2 meters less than x, less than 8 meters. m of x is going to be uh, the integral from 0 to 2, but I already know what that is. That's m x, whoops, that's not what I wanted to say. That's m of 2 meters plus the integral from 2 meters to x of v of x prime dx prime. Okay, m of 2 meters, this guy turns out to be um, 2,000 newton meters, if I've got that correctly. And 
this guy here turns out to be a mess. I mean, it's not an ugly mess, but there's quite a bit of computation involved in making this work. Okay, because V prime here is uh, going to be, uh, let's see, we'll have the integral from 2 meters to x. V of x prime here is going to be 330, no, I'm sorry, 3,334 newtons minus 667 newtons per meter times x prime, dx prime. Okay, and so what you need to do, and I'm not going to do it here just because um, I don't have time to on the video to work this out in detail. Uh, but you need to integrate this. Uh, this is integrating a constant. That's pretty easy. This is going to be integrating a term with a constant times x prime dx prime. So you're going to end up with an x squared term here. And you have to plug in limits. And so you're going to end up with an x squared term and a 2 meter squared term. And it'll be a lot of fun. I'll leave that to you as an exercise. And I'll write down what I got. I got then minus 333 newtons per meter times x squared plus 3,334 newtons times x minus 3,333 newton meters. Okay, so that's what we have then for x between 2 meters and 8 meters. That gives us m of x. And you can see uh, this line here is a straight line, so what we end up here is the equation of a parabola, which is what you'd expect if you integrate a function that represents a straight line, then you get a parabola. So the last thing we need to do then oops, is um, go ahead and find m of x between 8 and 10 meters. Uh, let's see. So to do that we have the integral from 0 to 8 meters of v of x prime dx prime plus the integral from 8 meters to x of v of x prime dx prime Again, this chunk is m of 8 meters, which again is equal to um, 2,000 newton meters. And this integral here, you're integrating v prime of x, or v of x prime which is um, minus 10,000 newtons plus 1,000 newtons per meter x prime. All of this dx prime. Okay, so when you work this whole thing out, uh, you get then 500 newtons per meter times x squared minus 10,000 newtons times x plus 50,000 newton meters. Okay, so again, this is v of x when x is between 8 and 10 meters. Okay, well, I guess we should plot this and see what it tells us. So I have plotted this. Okay, so here we have v of x, and here we have the corresponding function that we just uh, found, m of x. And you can see that m of x is uh, made up of pieces of uh, parabolas in the same way that v of x is made up of pieces of straight lines. And um, again, hopefully, you can look at this m of x and see that as x goes from 0 to 2, the slope increases from 0 up to 2,000 uh, newtons. 
So you can see as x goes from 0 to 2, I do have that slope increase. Then the slope here continues to increase until I get to the point where x equals 5, where the slope here is 0, which corresponds to a 0 here. And then the slope becomes negative. It gets smaller, which I have here. And then the slope uh, goes from being negative back to 0, which I have here. So I do have the relationship that the slope of m of x is the derivative of v of x, which is good. And hopefully, m of x is the integral of v of x. If it isn't, then I've screwed up somewhere. OK. So um, I think this will probably conclude this video. Again, uh, the important thing to remember here is that we can find, uh, in this case, you, with distributed forces, we can find the shear force uh, distribution as well as the moment distribution by taking a function and integrating it from 0 to x, which, um, as you've now discovered, is just lots of good clean fun. So hopefully this has helped, and thanks for watching.